They said to him, we have come down to bind you so that we may give you into the hands of the Philistines. That's why a church always needs people that are behind the pastor. God bless you, Glenn. Because if you bind me, I can't do much. But if you start praying for me, I can do better. If you start saying, God, fill him up with the Holy Ghost of God, I can do better. If you start saying, Lord, that's our man that is preaching your word, let it come out in the power and the demonstration of God Almighty, and I can do better. If you realize that God is on the throne and he's in your heart, I can do better because you are with me. Amen. Amen. So they said to him, no, but we bind you fast and give you into their hands. We won't kill you. Well, there's several ways to kill a person, but well, that'll be some other sermon. When he went and he came to Lehi, it means jawbone, the Philistines shouted as they met him, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. I like the way that starts. Here he was, bound by the enemy. Some of you have wondered, after you've been nice to me, why I still yell at you? <laughs> because the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and the ropes, the new ropes that they bound him with, became as flax that had been burnt, uh, and they just dropped off of him. And, and I want you to note the fact that the Spirit of the Lord came upon Sansom. He found a fresh jawbone of a donkey. So he reached out and he took it and he killed a thousand men with it. Sansom found the jawbone, uh, but that was God's provision uh, for that moment. God uh, allowed that to be there. Uh, and it's kind of interesting because the Bible said, and it was fresh. That means that God didn't fool around. He made it just for that moment of time. That when Samson would face the enemy, the jawbone of an ass would be there. And Samson said, now I got my weapon. God has been here already. God always provides. God is a God of deliverance. Even when we don't deserve it. Even as it was a new jawbone of an ass, God said, Samson, there's your weapon. By the way, jawbone is related to word or speech. Amen. So if you have God's word, don't you realize that you're already on Jawbone Hill? Amen. Amen. I just didn't make a backslidden, whiskey-drinking pagan shout. Uh, that will be something about you this morning to realize uh, that God uh, is a God that provides for us. Amen. Amen. He used that jawbone to slay a thousand of the Philistines. But here's a couple of things. Just a quick little lesson. It was a singular weapon. It was a surprising weapon. I mean, you think about it. How many people get the jawbone of a donkey to knock somebody out? And then get about a thousand of them along the trip. I mean, that's, that's, and to me, that's a singular weapon. It's not what you expect. You would think, oh, there's a sword. Oh, there's a spear. No, there's the jawbone of a donkey. <laughs> but didn't God's word tell us, Lo, I am with you always, Amen. even to the end of the world? Yes. So the jawbone represents the word of God. And the word of God is always available to us at the moment that we need it the most. It was a simple weapon. In other words, it was an unsophisticated weapon. Oftentimes, the world looks at us and says, the only thing that you have is the Bible to fall back on. Yes. There is no apology here. I use the word of God because mankind uh, for a long, long time has tried to disprove uh, that the word of God is false. Uh, it wasn't something that is new by the professors of today. It's been going on a long time. They've been trying their very best to do away with the word of God because they think that it's, uh, oh, it's just a book. Well, if it was just a book, uh, how is it uh, that that book today uh, still has the same power and still has the same followers uh, that it's always had uh, because they can't cannot disprove it. They tried to disprove it by history and they failed. They tried to disprove it by science and they failed. They tried to disprove it by embarrassing people to say, are you one of them? And still yet somebody stands up and says, yes, I'm one of them. Amen. Amen. 